The online application to receive student debt cancellation is now available. President Biden officially unveiled the website studentaid.gov at an event on Monday. The president says that the application process takes less than five minutes and 40 million Americans could benefit from the program. But how do you know if you're eligible? Carolyn Brooke joins us with what you need to know so you're not left asking, where's the money? We've heard a lot about student loan forgiveness since the Biden administration first announced it would be made available. After all, Americans altogether hold about $1.75 trillion worth of student debt. That includes both government loans and private loans. So how do you know if you might be eligible for debt relief under Biden's plan? We went to Jennifer Finetti with Scholarship Owl. If a student is, is under the income cap of 125000 for an individual or 250000 for a household, and if their loan was taken out prior to July 1st, 2022, they would be eligible for up to 10000 in loan forgiveness if they were not a Pell Grant recipient or up to 20000 if they were a Pell Grant recipient. But before you pop that champagne, there are a couple couple of caveats. Loan forgiveness only applies to federal loans. But if you have a federal loan that's serviced by a private company, you're out of luck. Also, for students whose parents claim them as a dependent on their taxes, those income limits apply to the parents' income, not the students'. Last of all, six Republican states have sued to block student debt relief, so it is possible the whole program could get tied up in court. In any case, all this focus on debt has experts talking about other ways to fund higher education. The best amount of debt to take on is, of course, zero debt if you can do that, right? So I always encourage students and families to do everything they can to be able to pay for college without student loans. Finetti says students can work part time during the school year and full time on breaks. They can seek out scholarships and save their birthday money for tuition or expenses. But if you have to borrow, she says only borrow the minimum you need, not the maximum you qualify for. And she recommends taking out a federal student loan rather than a private loan if possible. If you're going to apply for student loan forgiveness, make sure that you're on the correct website. It's studentaid.gov. After all, you're submitting personal information like your date of birth and social security number. And you don't want to hand this information over to criminals. Carolyn Bruck, WCNC Charlotte.